In terms of their elements, deployment diagrams are pretty simple. You don't have to learn a whole lot of new notation. These diagrams feature nodes and artifacts. A node, which is what this movie is about, is a physical resource of some kind that can host software. And it looks like this. It's a three-dimensional box with the name of the node written inside it. Even though this is how the UML represents nodes, many modelers go outside UML notation here using icons that represent pictorially a specific type of hardware. You might see a picture to represent a web server or a cylinder to represent a database. But for your UML deployment diagrams, this is sufficient with the three-dimensional box and the name of the node. There are two kinds of nodes that you can specify in a deployment diagram. Devices and execution environments. The device stereotype, which you can see here, indicates that the node is hardware of some kind. So if you see device above the node's name, you know you're talking about hardware. In a lot of cases, you don't have to use that keyword. Often it will be clear from the node's name that the node represents a piece of hardware. For example, if we called this node database server, you would know that that was a piece of hardware without adding that device keyword to the representation. The second kind of node, execution environment, refers to software. You can see the execution environment stereotype above the name of the node. Software can be a node if it contains or hosts other software. So an example of an executable environment would be an operating system. So these are the two kinds of nodes that you'll work with in deployment diagrams. Both kinds of nodes contain artifacts, and artifacts are the subject of the next movie.